Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, are you religious? Now, I know if you grew up like I did in evangelical churches, people say, we're not religious. It's not about religion. It's about a relationship. And, and that's absolutely true. But in, in some ways, you're religious. I mean, look, I am religious because from the world's perspective, I go to church, I pray, I read the Bible, I try to do good deeds, um, and I declare my faith. So from their eyes, I'm very religious. Uh, so to the world, I'm very religious, but are we religious before God? Uh, we're looking at Psalm 50 today, and in Psalm 50, the, the psalmist makes it very clear that God is not impressed by our religious activity. In their day, that was offering sacrifices. And, and in fact, the beginning part of Psalm 50 is about, I don't need your meat. I'm not hungry. That's what God's saying. I mean, he's actually kind of making a joke about it. I don't need your offerings to me that you're putting on the altar and burning up for me. I'm, it's not like I'm going to go hungry without that. And, and uh, it makes it clearly known that God's the judge of everyone, and everyone will give an account to the judge, whether they act religious or not. So God's not really impressed by our religious activity that's designed to appease him or earn his favor, because honestly, that doesn't work. Uh, he doesn't need our sacrifices. So for me and you, today, we don't put meat on altars and burn it anymore. I'm thankful for that, by the way. Uh, I mean, I like to put meat on a grill and eat it, but not just burn it up as an offering to God. But for us, God is not impressed by our church attendance. He's not impressed by our offerings, even if sometimes pastors are. He's not impressed by how much you study the Bible or your spiritual disciplines if you fast and pray for hours upon end. You know, he's not impressed by those activities. You know what God is impressed by? He's impressed by our attitude and our obedience. Here, here's kind of the crescendo of Psalm 50, verses 14 and 15. Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and perform your vows to the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. D did you catch that? God is impressed by our attitude and our obedience. He says, instead of putting your, your fancy sacrifices on the altar, altar uh, offer up a sacrifice of thanksgiving and gratitude. Let your lips be thankful all the time for what God has done for you, what he has provided for you, how he has blessed you. And, and then he says, perform your vows. That's obedience. You say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to love God. I'm going to obey God. Then that means you perform those vows. You're obeying God. After all, Jesus said, if you love me, obey me. Don't try to impress me, but obey me. You see, that's living what we believe. That's integrity. So if you really want to please God and if you're a follower of Jesus, I hope you do want to please God. Be grateful. Be grateful to God for what he's given you, what he's done for you, how he's blessed you. Be grateful to others because God's put them in your path for you to bless them. That's your attitude that you're offering up to him, an attitude of gratitude. And, and then be obedient. Listen to his word and do it. After all, the apostle James says, be doers of the word and not hearers only, and so deceive yourselves. And Jesus ended the Sermon on the Mount with that great uh, parable about the wise and foolish builders. The wise builder is the one who hears his words and puts them into practice. The foolish builder is the one who hears his words and ignores them. So um, I'm praying that you choose to offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and you'll live up to your vows before God and be obedient. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.